Hey guys, my name is Katie and welcome to my channel. I am a mother of four boys. Noah is seven, going to be eight very soon. Jace is five, Carter is four, and Benjamin is seven months. So I am a mom, a wife. Sorry, all my all my stuff just fell. That's okay. That's fine. We'll we'll make it work. I'm a mom, I'm a wife. Um, I cook, I clean, I do, I do all the things y'all do, okay? Like, nothing special. But I'm just going to share with you guys. Um, I decided that I'm going to be homeschooling my children. Um, and today I'm going to be sharing with you Noah's curriculum. He is going to be in second grade. And I just kind of want to share with you. The only thing that will be missing from this is math. And that is because I'm waiting on it. But I was impatient to make this video. <laughs> so... I decided that I was going to homeschool because of everything that had happened in the world in 2020. We all know what it is. Okay. I'm not going to say it, but you know. So with that, um, I decided I'm not going to send my son back to school. I'm just, none of them, like not the kindergartner or the preschooler. Nope. None of them. Um, plus my son was so far behind and I'm catching him up and I feel like he's learned more from me in the last two months than he has learned at all this year in first grade. So without further ado, I'm going to share his curriculum. Now, this first thing that I'm going to share is actually something that all of my children will be doing. Um, I'm just going to modify it for their ages, but it is discovering God's world and it's for science. Um, and there's just like some pretty simple little things. And then to go along with a lot of this stuff, we will, um, I need to buy the workbook for this. I forgot to order it, but I will be getting the workbook for this as well. But this is like the teacher guide, which is fine. Honestly, like I don't even know if I'm going to need a workbook because I, the things that need to be written down he can do in his journal but the experiments and things like that I want to include so this um is going to be something that all of my kids do which is I, I didn't bring it in here um I might include this just in my morning basket if you don't know what a morning basket is it's just a basket full of stuff that you can do with multiple grades of people and it's stuff that you do every day or like you can put other stuff in it that like you want to rotate out so this will probably go in there. Um, in my morning basket, I do have my read aloud book, which is a chapter book that I read to my kids. And then I have a daily devotions book. It's just one page. It's veggie tales. It's really cute. And then I have the big book of why. And sometimes I'll read like three or four pages, but it really gets them interacting. And I do this um, towards the end of breakfast. So once they're like almost done eating and then once they're done eating, we finish up our morning basket and then I will be adding handwriting in there and things will be changing a little bit with this routine. But this is what we're doing right now to finish off this year. Next year will be a little different. We won't start morning basket until they're like up and dressed and all of that fun jazz. So without further ado, let's get into the real curriculum, the real fun stuff. I like a kid in a candy store. My sister-in-law actually... Um, she was a homeschool, she is homeschooling again this year, but she did send her kids back to public school and now she's pulled them out again, but she's gifted me a lot of this, actually all of this stuff, the stuff that's coming in the mail and like the workbook to this and stuff is just things that I had to purchase because she didn't have any of that stuff. Um, so I'm definitely blessed. <laughs> so this is Journey's Common Core Reader Notebooks, volume one and volume two. Um, these are just going to be our readers. I'm going to look online and see if they have like a big textbook to go along with this. They might not and this might just be how it is, but that's perfectly fine. Lots of words. Our main focus because Noah struggled so bad in the reading and spelling area. Those are the subjects that we're going to really focus on. Um, so you're going to see a lot of like reading, writing, spelling those kinds of curriculums and I am a relaxed homeschooler and I think that kids learn the best through play and being hands-on 
um, especially because Noah, he's seven, he has autism and ADHD. Um, he's super high functioning, which is awesome. I know a lot of autism people are going to be like, high functioning. Yeah, he is. He doesn't like certain textures, noises, certain things trigger him. I heard a child scream. They're arguing. That's funny. Okay. So, anyways, I was listening. Are you going to stop being sad? Is what he just asked his brother because his brother screams all the time. But yeah, so Noah's autism. He is very high functioning. Um, his ADHD plays a bigger role with school. So his autism, I don't think affects this area. It did in the beginning with speech and things like that. But now that he's older and his speech is there, um, he's just behind on like reading and stuff. But that's okay because he is doing awesome. And that's the beauty of homeschooling is that we can go at our own pace and have him actually learn, which is really big. So the next thing I'm going to go into is spelling. We're doing the soaring with spelling and vocabulary. Um, he's just going to do one lesson a day. It's like one page and that's totally fine. This is lesson one, day one. We're going to read it and then, oh my goodness, if I could flip the page. And then he does the back part, which is just me asking him the words and stuff and him practicing and then lesson two or lesson one day two so every week we'll go through one new lesson it's just front and back of the page this is not going to overwhelm him and that is what I want uh, I can keep Noah's attention on school for about 30 to 45 minutes at a time I don't think that at second grade level he should be spending five or six hours doing school work I just don't think that that's how that's not how we do it um, but I do think that this is going to be perfect for him. And so we have the spelling version of that, spelling vocabulary. And then we also have the writing one. Now, this I believe is like, like a little bit more. Um, no, it's still front and back. Okay. Yeah, so it's just going to be one page of this too. I just, straight to the point, this is a lot of like... You know, we have to remember I have other kids that are learning as well. So this is perfect. Just one or two. And then, of course, we have the teacher's guide that comes with that. And then we have My World Social Studies. We do our part. I'm reading upside down. That's why it looks kind of funny. But it's really nice. So as you know, probably noticed, most of the curriculum that I have is really plain. My son gets very, very, very overwhelmed with stuff like this if he is the one reading it. Now, will he be reading this too? Yes, but we will be doing this together. And this is actually something that I might include the other ones in as far as like the read aloud parts. So... You know, in this chapter, you have learned about how people provide good services, goods and services. So, like, I can just ask them the question and know I could do, like, the writing part of it. But I will probably include them, too, just for the simple fact that they like this kind of stuff, especially my son, Jace. He is the funnest during morning basket because he, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Said the Science Kid, but my son, when you, because, you know, I always, like, ask him, like, why do we have fingernails, you know, and he'll give me this crazy in-depth answer. And then like when I read the real answer, he's like, yeah, I thought that one too. So it's, it's a blast. He's a blast. He's going to be really fun doing like teaching all this stuff too. Um, and then it comes with a CD-ROM, DVD-ROM. Oh, I guess I can put it in the DVD player. Uh, like teacher's version. I probably will never use that. And then we have our HUB curriculum. This, no, I'm not, we are not doing all this every day. Social studies, health, science, those are things that are going to be every now and then, like at least once a week for each of them. Or just like, those are extras, you know. If we get to them, we get to them. 
but this is um the health workbook and it's very simple it has color but it's very simple and he'll be able to easily work through this this is the grade one and i did grade one because i doubt that in school they taught him this stuff so i want to make sure that i'm like backtracking because next year like so when he's in third grade he'll probably be on grade two unless we blow through this and then this is just the teacher's guide and this is just to help me know how to explain things to him and then like what i like about this book because we're working so hard on Noah's reading and stuff, there's like vocabulary right here that I can tell him, like we're gonna focus on these words as I'm reading and um, that's really cool. And it has like unit resources so we could go to the library and get other little things. There's little songs and just tons of great things. This is a, gonna be a fun book to go through and this I will probably include the other kids in too as far as like the other resources like I'm um, watching a YouTube video about the heart or whatnot and then this is also just a little health activity book this is a very plain one and we're just gonna see how he does this is for his actual learning level I believe yeah second grade um and this is one that I think we'll do a little later. It's a little harder than the other stuff. So this will be once we finish that, we'll work through this. And then I'll possibly just buy the second Horizon, um, the second grade one. Or I might not. I don't know. Health isn't like a, in the state that I live in. It's not something that we have to do. We only have to do like Common Core and then introduce social studies and stuff. I believe social studies is like third grade. So really we're going ahead. Now, as far as math, we are using the uh, Saxon math. I am doing the grade or the, is it grade three? It might be grade three because when I view it and watch reviews on it, these are things that Noah like is do like he's doing that. And so I feel like it's going to refresh it in the beginning and then teach him. So hopefully I don't make a mistake. I just really don't want to spend $100 on a math curriculum and get the wrong thing. And he is seven and a half, going to be eight. So I feel like that is more of where he falls um, because they don't really go by grade level. They go by age level, which is cool because, yeah, it's just cool. It's cool. So anyways, this is our second grade curriculum so far. Um, I do have like other little books here for like here and there. Um, I have the teacher child to read. I have, I'll do another curriculum video for like my younger kids, what we're using. Um, I have manipulatives that are, I'm going to use with Noah's math. Um, cause he's a very visual learner. I chose Saxton because it's not so crazy. Like Abeka has like super colorful and it's a great curriculum but when you have a son who gets super overwhelmed by looking at a page you definitely like it's not intriguing it is intriguing to him like he thinks the pictures are pretty but he's not going to focus on what we're doing um and I'm sure there's a ton of other moms that can relate to that you know but this is my first curriculum video. I hope that it works out. We're not even going to start this. So we are doing year-round schooling, but I'm going to give myself until July before we start any of this. I want, right now we're also trying to buy a house. So I want to try to get moved into our new home that we don't have yet. We haven't made an offer yet, but we have our loan and finances, like all that stuff done. And now it's just matter of finding a place and putting a bid on it. Um, so I don't really want to start this until July and that also gives me more time. I have some like readers and things like that, that I'm going to be using with Jace that I think I'm going to have Noah just blow through really quick. Like earlier I had him read a bunch of the sight words and I had him do like five lessons in like 10 minutes, like just reading it to me. And so he did really well. So I think I'm just going to keep up on that. And then I have, um, a drill 
math book for adding and subtracting coming. And I'm just going to have him do um, a half a page a day until July. And we're just going to go from there. I think this is a whole new ball game for me. I've never homeschooled. I never, I'm going to bring, my husband's going to kill me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm on his side of the bed. <laughs> Uh, it has way better lighting. So, um, I've never homeschooled. I never thought that I would homeschool. Like, I guess when I was telling my mom about it, she's like, you know, when you were a little girl, you used to always say that you wanted to be a teacher and a mom and a wife and all these things. And well, now you're doing it. So apparently I've always wanted to do, uh, live the life I'm living. So that's exciting. That's good. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm going to try to get this uploaded. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put it up raw and real for you guys and call it. Yep. So this was my second grade curriculum for 2020 to 2021. Huh. That's a, that's a mouthful. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful blessed day. And stay tuned because I am planning on uploading uh, once a week between homeschool, homemaking, moving, buying a house. I am all, we are also entering the world of minimalism. I'm like borderline hoarder. So this is a fun journey. Do you see all that stuff? Like hoarder I'm telling you, I love the things. I'm a shopaholic. So you just, I just love stuff. I just love it. But what I don't love is the messes and the headache that it brings me. So I am going to, I've been going through everything, my clothes, the kids clothes, just everything. Because when we move, it's a new chapter in our book and I don't want to clutter it. I want it to be clean and chic and slick and shiny and I can't keep up with my house <laughs> with the way it is. I can literally, I'm sure this video has went a little south, but that's okay. I'm sure most of you guys can relate that you like clean and clean and clean, but it's not clean. Like you're, you're just like doing the surface, you know, you're just picking up the floor and vacuuming and clearing the main clutter, but really you moved the clutter to somewhere else, like a basket on top of your fridge, or <laughs> like just made it hide it instead of just going through it, putting the stuff away, or deciding to get rid of it, or whatnot, and that is currently what I'm doing, I'm going through everything, I'm trying to do a half a bag of, like, a garbage bag, half a bag a day of things to get rid of, or to donate, I have a clothing bag with kids clothes, because I take that to a consignment shop, so that way I can turn it in, and get credit to get bigger sizes, um, yeah, so I am super Excited to share this journey with you. So much is changing in my life for the better. Um, yes, yes, it's, it's happening. Okay, have a blessed day, guys.